welcome back and if you're new here welcome my name is leah i make art videos and i post a lot of youtube shorts so you know this is kind of new territory for me to be doing a long video but today i'm just going to be doing a little review of some products that were sent to me from etcher etcher lab i'm not 100 percent sure what they go by but these are watercolors and then i also got sent a watercolor sketchbook I have reviewed lots of products from Etcher before and they're just honestly the nicest company. I love this little paper that they included in the set that says, we believe art has the power to make this world a better place and then there's just a little note and the packaging was just, it felt very kind of luxury on these. Um, these are like a, I don't know if they're student or professional grade, but they are on the lower end of like a price range. So they're definitely really affordable for what you get. As always, I will link everything that I use in this video down below for you guys to check out. So let's get started. Let's see what these watercolors are about. So right off the bat, something that I really like about these is the packaging. I think that this just simple in the pan with a little sticker over top, it's just, it's really simple, but it's very cute. It also protects the paint and they look really nice. They look really clean. They look pretty dark, which means that it's probably going to be saturated. You can see I'm just unpackaging them here i also love the little i think it's a llama which is their logo and i think it's just it's super cute it's very cohesive very nicely branded and i like pan watercolors personally over tube just because i find them easier to mix so i'm really excited that these are pan watercolors and yeah i don't know why i put that little time lapse in there it looks so weird the only downside to these is that I would say when you first get them, you have so much wrappers and it's kind of like a bit of a waste and it takes a while to kind of like unpackage them. But other than that, I was really excited to start out. You can see all the colors while they're not wet, like while you haven't used them. They do look kind of the same, but let's start painting. So I just wanted to say that I'm painting some loose watercolor florals with these, but this is only my third time painting them. So I'm not qualified to give you guys like a tutorial or anything. So hopefully you can just enjoy and follow along and I'm going to be reviewing the paints. And then if you want to paint some florals with me, then you can go ahead and do that as well. So I mixed up this kind of like purpley maroon color and I was really impressed. Honestly, they're really saturated and the pigment was really nice. These don't feel cheap. They don't feel chalky whatsoever. So very pleasantly surprised. And then the watercolor paper was also just kind of a dream to work on. And I'm not saying this because they just sent them to me. I genuinely do, do love these products. I think the only downside of this paper is that it kind of does pill a little bit, which means that the fibers kind of like come up and they kind of like ball up. But honestly, you kind of expect that with all watercolor paper. And this one is, um, I'm assuming it's cold pressed because it's quite textured. So just, I mean, look at this orange. Look how vivid these colors are. I was just very, very, very pleasantly surprised. Because these aren't extremely, like, high-end or expensive watercolors, I was not expecting them to be extremely vivid and vibrant, and I was just very, very pleasantly surprised. In terms of blending, you can see here I'm doing, like, a little leaf shape and when I'm layering just like some extra to kind of just emphasize the color it flows in really nicely and I feel like the paper really retains moisture enough that you can layer colors and all of that and this yellow like look how vibrant it is it's honestly crazy you can see that I did use quite a bit of pigment so it's a little bit more opaque but here I've watered down this pink quite a bit and it's honestly still super vibrant but also transparent enough that you could still layer it I definitely think that watercolors like this are probably better suited for painting as opposed to lettering and calligraphy, which is what I typically do, just because of the colors and the nature of the pigment. It's very pigment-based as opposed to ink-based. I think ink works a lot better if you're doing lettering or calligraphy, but for this type of painting, I mean, I was just really, really, really pleasantly surprised, which I cannot talk, with how nice these watercolors went on, how nice they layered, and just how nice they blended and flowed together. Another thing that I didn't really get a clip of, but I wanted to say, is that they're just really easy to wet and re-wet, so you put some water on them and the pigment just kind of comes off right away, but overall I would say these are just such a great watercolor set for beginners, intermediate, and that's my opinion. Thanks for watching, this was a short one, but I hope you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you want, and Follow me on other platforms at Leah Hansen.